Um, uh, love your background, by the way. Thanks. Uh, it's a custom blanket my uh, sister and brother-in-law made me as a Christmas present this year. So Wow, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now uh, you are a, a, well pretty well known, uh, I guess, for uh, the amazing tattoos that you have uh, across your body in regards to the DC Universe of characters. Um, I uh, came across your picture of the picture of your, uh, I think it's your right arm with a Superman tattoo uh, pretty much up and down the, like a sleeve. Can you show that to us? Sure, sure. That's, um, let's see. Uh, up here's the S. Yeah. Um, that's where it all started uh, before I found out, you know, whether I tattoos were my thing or not. Mm -hmm. I started with just the S and I figured I'd build around it. And then uh, I have a Tony Daniel Superboy mm -hmm. from uh, one of the covers of uh, Teen Titans. Yep. Uh, Michael Turner, Supergirl. Wow. I'm 99% sure that that is uh, a Dan Jurgens Doomsday, but I have yet to find the comic that it's from. I just found the panel right. uh, when I was looking up artwork online. Cool. Um, and the... Uh, I don't know. If, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kind of the main centerpiece is a... Uh, this is originally artwork for solicitations yep. that didn't end up getting used as a cover by Tony Daniel. Yep. Um, for Action Comics, it's a Superman, Doomsday, and then a little Brainiac over here. Kind of just knocked out on the ground. Nice. And then Dave Finch's Action Comics 890 cover of uh, Lex. Uh, Lex in his armor suit. So. Wow. Oh. And um, Michael Turner's uh, Crypto. Fantastic. Now, how long did some of those... Or can you tell us, from when did you first get your S? How long ago was that? Uh, the S was um, almost two years ago. It was in, uh, I think it was July 8th of uh, the summer of 2012. Mm -hmm. And since and then, then, how long have the rest of them taken? Um... Well, I kind of, um, I guess I have OCD. Um, I usually say that I do. So I kind of want things done quickly. Right. And I, I scheduled my appointments that way. So I started, um, you know, the rest of the sleeve, uh, May 20th, and I was done by like the first week of July. And did you want to give a, a plug to the tattoo artist who's been doing that for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, his name's Tito Velez. Um, he's on Instagram at Tough Tito, and uh, he's the owner of uh, Euphoria Inc. in Roselle, New Jersey, and he also just recently opened up a second shop in Florida on the West Coast. I forget what city, but... Sure, fantastic. Uh, so uh, yeah. I guess the two of you pretty much uh, spent a lot of time together over the, over the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, uh, I've, I came across his work because of um, some Instagram pictures that my cousin tagged me in because he knew I was looking for uh, a good artist and he had just done a black and white version of uh, the Joker cover of The Killing Joke holding, uh, holding the, uh, the camera on someone's arm or thigh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And um, then he also did some Alex Ross, Batman and Joker artwork, I think on the same person, I'm not sure. But the detail was so amazing, and even though it was just black and white, I mean, I had seen some other uh, color artwork that he had done on other people, because one of his favorite things to do is Japanese, and it was all, like, really just stellar artwork, so. Fantastic. Now, what was the pain like? I mean, you know, people say, oh, different people give you different answers when they ask you about getting a tattoo. I haven't had one, although people keep telling me, you need to get a Superman tattoo somewhere or, you know, on your arm like you've done. And uh, right. my wife has a few tattoos and, you know, she says, you know, different areas are more painful than others. Uh, what was your mm -hmm. experience like? Um, as far as the right arm, uh, right near the, uh, the bone by the wrist yeah. and the top of the shoulder were the worst parts for me. Um, a lot of people think under here and it, it, it stung, don't get me wrong, but it felt more like uh, when you get a sunburn, just like a burning, okay. uh, like warm feeling. Uh, everywhere else was pretty tolerable. Um, and then you would think that when I did my left arm, the same spots would be just as painful. But no, 
that bone by the wrist and the top of the shoulder were fine. And I forget what part was it was that on my left arm that was excruciating, but you know, there was, it was definitely different from one arm to the other. Okay. Interesting. Now, what about your family? Uh, what do they think of all your tattoos? Uh, everyone likes them except for, um, my grandfather on my mother's side. I mean, like it's weird, uh, before I even ever, um, like, made an appointment to get anything done like out of nowhere like two months before he says you know uh, whatever you do please don't ever get a tattoo and I'm like <laughs> all right whatever <laughs> but then you know he I mean he saw my one sleeve and he saw when it was just the outlines and um like he usually just tries to make eye contact with me when he's talking and usually doesn't look down at my arms and the one time that it was like done he made like a a joke saying, you know, please, like, wear long sleeves when you come over the house. And then, like, instantly afterwards, she said, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. You know. Yeah. So he's yeah, accepting. So. Accepting, but not necessarily approving. But um, yeah. now you want to show us the other DCU tattoos you've got, if you don't mind? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I've got, um, uh, with the Superman sleeve. Oh, here, wait, let me uh, tell you a little... Uh, get into a little more um, with the Superman sleeve. Um, it was my first time getting anything like large like that. So going in to my appointment, the only thing I knew that was going to be a part of it besides the S I had originally was the the Superman and Doomsday art piece uh, piece of art with um, with Brainiac in the corner because I didn't know you know how big it was going to be. So once he figured out the size, that would be good. Um, scale-wise with my forearm, um, Tito just said, all right, start thinking of Superman characters, you know, to go in the sleeve. And then we just had a blast looking up artwork on the spot, um, figuring out, like, what would fit and what wouldn't. Uh, we added Doomsday, we added Superboy, we added Supergirl. And he's like, you still got room on the inside. So then that's when I definitely wanted Lex in the suit. And... Um, when uh, we still had room underneath, I was like, I'd love to have crypto. So, Fantastic. you know, um, but with the, uh, the green lantern sleeve, uh, this is all, um, by Ed Venice. Right. Uh, you have, uh, Hal Jordan here. Yep. Sinestro here. Yep. Um, let's see. St. Walker in there. Nice. Lars Flees. Uh, where is she? Carol Ferris Starfire. Atrocitus. And Indigo One. Wow. Fantastic. Now, do you have particular artists that you, you know, when you're looking for artwork, you're thinking, like, I, I want that particular artist? Or is it more that I like that image? I would like to see that on my arm, or you know, or how do you how do you go about choosing the uh, particular images that you like? Uh, it's a combination of both. Uh, I mean, I love art in all its different shapes and forms. Um, but as far as uh, like work, building my DC universe, um, I tried uh, using artists that I like that also have similar styles. So it all kind of looks similar, even though each artist has their own different touches, like. Jim Lee or Tony Daniel or David Finch and Ed Bennis, uh, Ethan Van Skyver, you know, all those greats. So, mm -hmm. And I believe that the most recent one is the chest tattoo, the, the, the Batman one? <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, <laughs> last, oh. week I, last week I had an appointment, but this is the most uh, recent one that's almost completed. Right. Um, uh, this was a, a commission that I had done by Tony Daniel. Um, I... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to meet him last year at Comic-Con. Uh, I had been tweeting him pictures back and forth from when I was working on the Superman piece because some of the artwork is his. And uh, getting to meet him in person was great. Um, I was supposed to have it done by someone else, but um, you know he got really busy with work. And uh, so he took a lot longer than I, yeah, you know, than I expected. And so... Um, by chance, Tony, I, I didn't realize that Tony Daniel had like, you know, an open list for commissions. So I jumped on that opportunity right away because he's, you know, tied for 
number one is uh, my favorite artist. Yeah. Yeah. So that that was like a big big honor to have him uh, be able to do that for me. So. Fantastic. Uh, you want to see the? <laughs> if you want to show it to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No problem. It's, it's, it's not like it's not uh, something that I go around asking men to take their shirts off for me. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've I've flashed more people in my chest uh, in the past month than I have in my entire life. So. Um, and yeah, the the lighting is a little bit of a pain no, in the cool. butt, but uh, we got Batman over here. Yeah, of course the joke, uh, the the Joker. Um, I'm a huge Nightwing fan. He's tied for second place as one of my favorite characters in the DC universe, uh, right next to Hal Jordan. Uh, Deathstroke. Uh -huh. Um, I wanted them on a rooftop, and uh, the gargoyle was actually Tony's idea. And he put them on the corner of a rooftop, right. um, which I, I really loved. Um, so, like, the positioning and stuff was, and the characters were all uh, my suggestions. I, I wanted Batman and Nightwing back-to-back -back fighting um, uh, the Joker and Deathstroke on the rooftop. I've got the bad signal in the sky. Yeah. And then that building there um, is actually... Uh, the tallest building in my home city of Newark, New Jersey, uh, that is my favorite. So, uh, you know, I really wanted it over here in this area along with Nightwing because, you know, it's over my heart. Mm -hmm. So, Cool. And uh, also the commission. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing breath here. Nice to talk <laughs> so much. Uh, the commission I had colored um, by Tony's colorist, uh, Tomeo Moray. Um, you know, I told Tony that, you know, since it was for the chest, I didn't want it to be colored by markers. Uh -huh. So, and he's like, uh, he said, yeah, I completely understand. Crap, gotta breathe. <laughs> 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 so, um, you know, he's like, I've got a couple colors that I work with, um, that he's worked with before in Teen Titans and that he works with now. And. Uh, no knock on the colors that he used to work with. Sure. I, I think they're a husband and wife duo, or yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're a, a husband and wife duo. Uh, they do amazing work, um, and there was really no reason why I picked Tomeo over the other one. But you know, that's just who I decided to go with. I yeah. saw, um, you know, just some of the work that he did recently on the uh, Superman and Wonder Woman covers, and you know, just in the in the books themselves. Yeah. And uh, I just thought, like, uh, his light transitions and stuff were uh, really amazing, so. Fantastic. Now, yeah. because you do have to take your, your shirt off and show your arms a lot because of the tattoos, how much pressure does that put on you to remain in shape and to, to you know, think about body shape and, you know, and you know stuff like that? <laughs> it's, a, it's just an incentive, too, yeah. you know, because um, uh, I've been a little out of shape for the past few years because uh, I had... Um, injured my neck in a car accident, so I was waiting for uh, the doctor to give me permission to go back, so it wouldn't interfere with the with the lawsuit and stuff. So as soon as I got that note, you know, for the past two months I've been back at it, but then having the tattoos done, um, I, I've been out of the gym because you know uh, having uh, a session on Monday to work on one side, and then a session on Tuesday. To work on the other side, that's a lot of trauma for the body to go sure. through healing wise. Yeah. So uh, there were some days when we worked on uh, Nightwing and on the Joker. Since it's smaller areas, I was fine to go back to the gym. But there was one day where we worked on Batman, <laughs> which is a larger character, or the day that we worked on the background, which is a huge area. And then uh, someone had canceled their appointment, so I came in on a Wednesday and decided, let me start outlining the flash. <laughs> so having the, uh, the trauma up here and the trauma down there, um, it really took a lot out of me. So, you know, so you're working on other areas oh, you just mentioned the flash. I'm, uh, I'm guessing, uh, that's, you know, another piece that you're, you're currently working on. Uh, you know, is, is what's the future hold? How far do you go? Um, I don't know. I, I have no plans on, uh, doing anything on my stomach because if I go to the gym and work out and, you know, put in all that work to get abs, 
I don't want to cover that up. <laughs> so I, it's pretty much just from the knees down that I plan on doing anything. I, I have no uh, plans ever on doing anything from the wrist to uh, the fingertips just because uh, I'm not the, I, I hate like uh, scars on my hands and stuff mm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have plans on anything on my feet, but you know, from the ankles to the knees. Uh, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, I've got an Ethan Van Skyver uh, flash piece on my, well, uh, shin, mm -hmm. on the, the one side of the shin. Right. You want me to... If you like, uh, yeah. If, yeah, you know, sure. I, mean, I don't want to, you know, we don't, you don't want to have to strip down to... <laughs> no, no, it's all right. It's already... Right, okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's like... Um, I think page two or something like that. No, it's I know it's issue two of uh, Flashpoint, uh, mm -hmm. not Flashpoint of uh, Flash Rebirth. Okay. And uh, it's just a Flash running on water, and um, you know, just with a, a city behind him and stuff. And then um, that was originally colored by uh, Alex and Claire. Yeah, yeah, Alex and Claire. Um, and then I've got you know. All this artwork, and I've yet to mention Jim Lee, so I absolutely had to have a Jim Lee piece. I almost put the cover for, I think, Batman 612, where it's Superman, like, with Batman in a chokehold. Right. And uh, I decided I already have Batman and Superman on me. I'd like to use Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. So uh, from an issue of Superman... Oh, wow. Wonder Woman, yeah. Very nice. So there's a, a few coloring sessions to go for those two pieces on your leg. Yeah, I've got... Um, well, he, my, Tito usually just calls me in whenever someone cancels or if he's just got a couple hours, if the, his first appointment uh, is going to be something simple where he'll be done early... Um, then he'll give me a call and see if I feel like coming in for a couple hours. Uh, since Wonder Woman is, co uh, not colored, she's outlined and shaded already. Yep. All she needs is coloring and some background work. And with the flash, she's only outlined. Mm -hmm. But that picture has very little shading. So on my appointment on Tuesday, we're going to do as much as we can on him. And without going into specifics, what kind of uh, monetary impact is it having on you? Um, you know, I, I'm pretty good at, you know, saving money and, you know, not spending too much. Well, no, that's a lot. I spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, everything all added together, I've, I've probably got like a Hyundai on me. <laughs> well, very cool. We uh, we really appreciate you, you chatting with us and uh, showing us the tattoos. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, dedication that you've got there to the to the DC universe of characters to to uh, do that up on your the artwork up on your body like that and uh, thanks for speaking to the Superman homepage. Thanks for having me. It's been a real honor. I I've been visiting the page for years and uh, I never got a chance to listen to the show live because you guys are like ten thirty my time. Yeah. But just recently, I, I listened to like I think six episodes uh, through the podcast and it it's really great. Uh, thank you. Appreciate your comments there and. Uh, well, maybe we'll catch up with you once you've uh, you finished both off both your legs off. Awesome. Thank you All very right. much. Thanks, Jesus. Talk to you again soon. Take care, Steve. See ya. Have a good one.